Like Egyptian queens, we are soaking in all types of milk these days. Yes. Truly, it is a golden age of non-dairy white liquid substitutes. But a real head scratcher was asked recently, why are cafes still charging extra for alternative milk in your coffee? You're often paying like at least 50 cents and sometimes over a dollar um, more for the, for the swap from dairy to alternative milk. The question is, are those surcharges justifiable? A one litre bottle of Anchor Blue Top milk is around $3.10, whereas a litre of boring oat milk, that will cost usually around $5. So that's like a $1.80 difference. One litre of milk makes around six flat whites. That means you'd only need to charge 30 cents more to cover the increased cost. The caveat is that cafes tend to buy in bulk um, and us at home, um, we're probably not buying the, um, quite in that same volume of milk as the cafe down the road is. Between 2017 and 2019, our spending on plant-based milk tripled. So if the market is growing, why the extra cost? It's really in its infancy, plant milk in New Zealand, and so even though it seems like there's a lot around, if you compare it to dairy, plant milk is only 10% that of dairy, so there's a long way to go. For us, the price, it comes down to, you know, us sourcing our oats from New Zealand, we source majority of our, pretty much all of our ingredients from New Zealand, and using recyclable bottles as well means that it's a little bit more expensive than what some of the alternatives are. This does cost more, and people who are running a business are just trying to kind of often meet costs and make sure that they can pay staff and, um, you know, keep operating, essentially. OK, so we're being a bit grumpy about that extra 50 cents on our flat whites. Maybe in the future, things will change. A lot of it's down to scale. You know, you think of an industry, dairy, that's been around for a very long time, and so they've had much longer to, to be able to develop it, build it out, build out the factories. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens in the next 10 years. Well, we might not need to wait 10 years. Some people are already doing something about this, like Harley Evans, who runs the cafe Brother. She joins us now. Harley, you guys don't charge for non-dairy milks. How come? No, we don't. Um, I actually set the business up like that from the start when we opened in November. Um, I just wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I did, to be honest. Why? I don't think um, it's fair to charge someone for perhaps having an intolerance or a different taste preference. Um, and so I really just went with that. And it's something I, I'm not ever planning on changing. Awesome. Well, it's a great idea, but I think everyone's wondering, how do you make that work financially? Um, well, I set it up into my business plan from day dot. Um, so I'm able to kind of recoup that cost in other ways through marginal markups here and there elsewhere that wouldn't really impact, um, make a huge influence on my consumer. Um, so I'm able to sink that cost into other areas so I don't have to charge extra for alt milks. You're basically spreading the extra cost of alternative milks among other products. Does that mean that if I'm a milk flat white drinker, I'm going to pay a little extra at your cafe? I still think our um, normal prices for small, regular, large um, coffees are a pretty fair reflection on what people that even are charging for alt milks, you know, we're right in line with everybody else. So, yeah, I'm probably making, you know, I could easily make more money by and cover more of my costs by charging extra. I just don't think 50 cents is a true reflection on the market. Maybe cafes are so used to having a surcharge, they're not thinking about why they have the charge in the first place. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think you're spot on there. I also think when you when you see cafes to the right and left doing it as well, you kind of just think you need to do the same thing, and I just don't think that's the case. They can get away with it, right? Yeah, they can get away with it. I think it's an easy way to make um, a good chunk of money, and my accountants would very much agree. Um, but I just I, I just couldn't do it. I think there's other ways to to sink the cost. So you. What I'm hearing are pretty much Robin Hood for milk. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> Should I go? I'll, I'll go with that then. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just trying to do my part. Um, I'm not dairy intolerant. Um, I can drink dairy milk. I prefer the taste of an oat 
in my flat white. So um, my order is a, is a note flat white. Um, but that's just personal preference. I think alternative milks are a bit more sustainable and better for the environment. Um, and for those that are intolerant, I don't think it's fair to charge extra for that. And that goes for our gluten-free products as well. Oh, Holly, thanks so much for the chat tonight. Good luck. <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Welcome along to the project. Look, Mark Richardson's with us tonight. Yeah. And Lana Walters joins us, too. Yeah. Fresh from the Comedy Festival. Hey, Lana. What Hello. do you reckon, Mark? Well, I'm not angry with her. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> okay. It's just not good business. I mean, let's face it. Um, you, you price goods according to what people will probably pay for them. Mm. And those old milk drinkers, they're a little bit lardy da aren't they? And, and they'll just pay <laughs> what, you, what you throw at them. She could be making a fortune and having way more posh dinners in, in Napier. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you do, Mark, if you were running a cafe? Well, I just... I, would, I would, probably wouldn't have prices on the wall. I'd just sort of, you know... Yeah, I'd just pick what my customers are going to pay and charge them that. You'd be like, you look rich, $10. Yeah. You look not rich, what, $3. What about if you ask me to pay $10 and I say no thank you? Well, I'd ask you to leave. Right. <laughs> I, mean, I have heard that, that soya milk actually rots in your stomach and makes your flatulence really smelly. Oh, my gosh. So if you're going to come into my cafe and do smelly farts, Goodness I'm charging you more. Yeah, go to Mark's cafe, get a lovely latte with a side of judgmental nastiness yeah. and yeah. some sort of fart-based science. I'd just like to fact-check that. There's no evidence that soy milk does that. Also, I'm not sure you're destined for the customer service industry, Mark. <laughs>